Kelly from Push Chair Expert. Founded in the Netherlands in 1984, Maxi Cozy created the first infant car seat with comprehensive safety features on the European market. Today, their car seats are recognisable to most parents and are known for their rigorous testing and great safety ratings. We're taking a look at their brand new 360 family, the Pebble 360 and Pearl 360, that can take you in a spin from birth to around four years old. Something that's so popular at the moment in the car seat world is rotating car seats. And the new 360 family is Maxi Cozy's modular offering to this category. Whether you choose to use the Pebble 360 first and then upgrade to the Pearl 360 or use the Pearl 360 from birth, they both use the same ISOFIX space, the Family Fix 360. This modular system is designed to evolve with your family. Installing the Family Fix 360 base couldn't be easier. Just sit the base on your vehicle seat, extend the ISOFIX arms with the buttons one side at a time and push them to connect to your ISOFIX points. Once connected, you'll see the indicators on the arms turn to green. Next, push the base so that it's flush with the backrest of the vehicle car seat and then extend your support leg until the indicator turns green on the foot. You'll see a grey switch on the top of the base in the centre. This is the Travel Safe Rotation Lock, which is there to ensure safe rearward facing up to at least 15 months. Once switched to rear facing, it won't allow the car seat to be swung forwards. If you're using the Pebble 360 of the base, it'll always stay in the rear facing position. If you're using it with a Pearl 360, you would keep the switch to rear facing until at least 15 months as per the eye size regulation. The seat will also rear face for the entire time you use it too, which is great. Once you're ready to forward face, you have to make the conscious decision to flip the switch to allow the car seat to forward face. A great idea to prevent misuse if someone's not used to the car seat and to keep your little one rear facing for longer. Spinning to forward from rear facing once you've moved the switch is done with one hand using the leader at the side. If you decide to go with an infant carrier for your child's first car seat, the Pebble 360 is a great option. You can either belt it in the car using the vehicle seat belt in the usual way, lap over lap, horizontal around the back, or pop it onto your Family Fix 360 base. If belting in, you might notice that the belt guides are now green rather than the previous blue. This is in line with the new eye size regulation and shows there is only one way of installation. It sits onto the base easily and changes to the green indicator on the side of the base and clicks once attached securely. When travelling in the car, your handlebar needs to be in the upright position and ideally your hood covering the child too, to act as another barrier in a collision. To take the Pebble 360 back out of the car, once you reach your destination, just lift the handle at the front of the Family Fix 360 base and lift up with the infant carrier handle. If you're using the Isofix base with the Pearl 360, it's just as easy. Pop the car seat on the base until it clicks and you see the green indicator. Removing again is done with the button at the front of the base. As an eye size infant carrier, the Pebble 360 uses height to judge when the child can use it. The height of the baby for this car seat is 40 to 83 centimetres, which is from birth up to approximately 15 months, but still with a maximum weight of 13 kilos. Once baby reaches any of these maximums or their head comes out the top of the seat, then it's time to move them to their next stage car seat. It's great to see that the Pebble 360 can be used for longer, as many of Max Cozy's previous infant carriers have been up to a maximum of 75 centimetres, which is only around a year old. One of the biggest advantages of using the Pebble 360 along with the new Family Fix 360 base is the fact that it can rotate to the car door to make it easy to load and unload your little one. There aren't many infant carriers on the market that can do this. It's also not long before they get too heavy to lift and carry them anywhere in the seat, even when the seat weighs only just over four kilos. It's easy to swivel the car seat to the side using the lever at the side of the base. This can be done smoothly with one hand and there's a lever at each side, depending on which side of the vehicle you've got the base installed in. When the car seat's in the side loading position, your indicator on the lever will be red to remind you that it isn't safe for travel. As soon as you put back to rear facing, it changes to green for going. Nestled inside of the car seat is the beautiful newborn insert. Used from birth up to 60 centimetres, the new baby hug in lay is one piece that keeps baby in a more comfortable and flat position for their development. Once removed, it's a deeper seat to cater for an older baby. Hidden under the insert is a headrest that stays in place in the seat during the whole period of use has a little circle loop at the top which you pull to move up and down to make sure that the harness is always the correct level for little one. Level or just below their shoulders. This is a much easier way than having to re-thread your harness. Securing baby into their car seat is a three-point harness. Very cleverly designed, it's an easy inner harness that holds itself up out of the way to make it easy to get your little one in without sitting them on the straps. The button to release the harness length is just below the buckle and you can tighten again by pulling the strap. It's really easy to adjust to the correct tightness for your child. Just make sure you can get two fingers under their harness pads but not rotate them. You'll notice that the panels on the side of the Pebble 360 have had a massive upgrade from the Pebble Pro and have perforated material. 
This is a special climber flow and breathable foam that helps air circulation and keep baby at an optimal temperature in both the cold and warmer weather. As Maxi Cozy's focus is always the safety of their car seats, you know that there are a lot of great safety features added to any of their products. To pass the latest R129 O3 regulation, the Pebble 360 has to be able to protect little one in a side impact collision or rollover, as well as front and rear collisions. The Pebble 360 has G-cell technology hidden in the side of the seat to add great side impact protection. It's like small hexagonal shapes which spread the energy force. Think about it like a football net. The ergonomic carry handle of the car seat makes it really comfortable to transport little one to and from the car. It has three different positions, from upright for carrying and travelling in the car, back to be level with the seat to make it easy to access baby, and all the way back to keep it stable if used on the floor. There are now tabs on either side of the handle which you can press to adjust smoothly. The independent hood on the Pebble 360 is a great improvement from previous models. You can move it back and forth and it keeps its shape with a plastic rim. The main part of the hood is made from a stretchy material to keep baby protected from the sun and wind when outside and shaded when in the car. Also does a great job of being another barrier from anything flying around the car in a collision. Being an infant carrier, lots of people want to use their car seat on their pushchair chassis. The Maxi Cozy Pebble 360 can be used in lots of different pushchair brands with the universal adapters, including their own pushchairs. We would just advise that newborn babies aren't kept in their car seat for longer than 30 minutes at a time for the first six to eight weeks of their life as it's not a great position for their airways or spine development. Once they're older, the time frame moves to two hours when they need taken out to feed, change or stretch out anyway. The fabrics used on the Pebble 360 are beautiful and soft against baby's delicate skin and come in some lovely colours. We've been testing the essential grey which we love. As the Pebble 360 is used in conjunction with the same Family Fix 360 base, parents have used the Pebble 360 first and we're more than used to how to install and use the base. The Pearl 360 has had some dramatic changes from its previous version. Thanks to the cushy new baby hug inlay, it can now be used from birth 40cm right up to 105cm and a maximum weight of 175 kilo. Placing a baby or toddler in the seat and securing is made so much easier with a one-handed rotation. Same as with the Pebble 360, just press the lever at the side and swivel in the direction of your choice. Whether you have your little one reclined for naps or in a more upright position, the rotation is possible in the mall and it's handy to do in side facing so you don't have to reach behind the seat. The easy in five point harness helps to keep it out of the way while you pop baby in. We found this to be a great addition to the seat and made day to day use much simpler. It's easy to adjust the harness by pressing the button under the buckle to extend and then just pulling the strap to tighten again. If you use it from birth, the newborn insert is really thickly padded in one piece with a head section, wedge and body piece with side supports too. Your little one needs this in the seat up to 60 centimetres, which is usually around three to four months old. It can then be removed to create a larger space for a growing baby and older toddler. The headrest of the Pearl 360 has a button at the back so you can squeeze and move it up or down. Perfect for older children, the highest position allows a child up to 105 centimetres to sit comfortably. The harness moves along with it too to get the right position for them. Level or just below for rear facing, level or just above when forward facing. We love that the Pell 360 can be used rear facing for the entire time from birth to around four years old. It's five times safer for them after all. With the clever feature of the travel safe rotation lock on the base, it prevents misuse. Have it switched to 0 to 15 months and it will only spin your car seat into the rear facing position. Push it the other way and it will allow your seat to forward face. It's nice to have the switch there for parents to make a conscious decision to change their child to a forward facing position once they're old enough and a minimum of 15 months. Children can get really sweaty in their car seats on warm days and Maxi Cozy have added breathable foam and fabrics to the seat to combat this. The climber flow panels built into the backrest and perforated material at the bottom ensure air is able to circulate and keep them in an optimal temperature. As with the Pebble 360, the Pearl has safety features aplenty to ensure that it adheres to the R129 regulation and keeps your child safe in a collision. G-cell side impact protection lines the sides of the seat. This is the honeycomb shape that helps to disperse the energy in the event of a collision. We love that even though it's a brand new product with new technology, Maxi Cozy haven't increased the price of the Pebble 360. Both that and the base are the same price as the previous version, £199 each. Having an infant carry the swivel feature can make life so much easier. It's a modular system so even if you use the Pearl 360 first or after your infant carry, you've got that rotation to the car door to help get little one in and out. 
Babies are soon too heavy to carry in their infant carrier, but you've still got that great feature once you need to leave it in the car. Everything about the 360 family is simple to use and operates without a hitch. The red to green indicators give you the reassurance that everything is installed correctly before you set off on your travels. Being able to use the Pearl 360 from birth now will be a great solution for lots of parents that don't think they need an infant carrier and offers longevity up to four years old. It's also brilliant that you can use it rear facing for the entire time too, as it's five times safer for them to stay rear facing for longer. Once outgrown at 105cm, they should be around the age to move to a forward facing high back booster. We just wish that they'd kept the maximum weight to 18 kilos rather than lowering to 17.5 kilos, as more and more children are reaching this sooner. If a child outgrows the seat earlier, parents may then be tempted to move their child into an unsuitable car seat sooner or have to buy another seat for extended harness use until they're safe to use a high back booster, which we wouldn't recommend doing until at least four years old. Just a point to consider if you know you have a child with a higher weight centaur. If you're after an infant carrier that can work in a modular system with a next stage seat, all on the same isofix base that also allows the ease of rotation feature, definitely take a look at the new 360 family from Maxi Cozy. Also keep an eye out for another addition to the family, the Coral 360. Fit on the same base, it features a light removable insert to carry baby in. We give the Maxi Cozy Pebble 360 5 stars and Pearl 360 4.5 out of 5 stars. Head over to pushtoexpert.com to read our full review.